The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Captain Rob Smith with BoatTest.com on board the brand new Doral Venezia. This boat has some cool features, but the one I'm already impressed with is the amount of space in the cockpit. So join me on board, let's take a look at this brand new model. Doral set out to design a replacement for the Monticello, but found the extra width exciting and different enough to come out with what is now called the Venezia. This new model also brings out the option of the hardtop or Doral radar arch and can be built with single or twin engines, gas or diesel. The Venezia has a generous swim platform. We've got our typical center swim ladder. We've got a remote for the stereo in this corner, a dunnage box, and then all the surfaces come in over on the starboard side. Stepping into the cockpit, the Venezia offers a bit more room to mingle. The bench seats wrap around the back and have fillers to convert the bench and tables into a large pad for the sun worshiper. When you're doing a lot of entertaining, you're certainly going to want to have a wet bar. We've got our sink here. This one has an ice chest that goes below. It didn't make it with the delivery of this boat. It's on its way. The engine hatch lifts easily to allow good access to the single Volvo Penta 5.7 GXI on our test model. As you can see, there's room for twins, gas or diesel, or an added genset. Moving up into the helm area, I find it easy to move around. Notice the upholstery. This is an optional cabriole. It's a very soft and almost leather-like feel. Double bolsters and a nice little bench on the side. Notice how the helm has a low glare color to it and you've got plenty of room to add additional electronics if you like. The helm offers room to stand and see forward out of the hole and instruments are arranged for easy viewing while seated or standing. Lenco trim tabs help adjust for unbalanced loads and adverse seat conditions. The port lounger has an aft facing recliner but a full size adult like me will feel a bit cramped trying to stretch out. Heading up the two molded in steps you easily pass through the windshield and out onto the bow. Railings are adequate and there's a custom anchor and windlass for nearly effortless anchoring. The windlass is open and in a recess in the peak rather than covered. Take a look at the door going into the cabin. This is unusual, it's something I see a lot on the Doral models. This glass door is a light green color which makes it feel much more open. The interior has a port side galley with large V-salon and an overhead hatch for light and air as well as a centerline wood accent to add a touch of class. In the cabin we have all the basic amenities that you need for an overnight or a weekend on board. We have a galley, we have an aft cabin with a double bed, and a head. One of the things that I found interesting was the table. Uh, oftentimes getting in around a table on a, on a cruiser like this size, it's a bit of a squeeze and it's a little bit more difficult to work with. This one has a pivot on it, so you have plenty of room to move out this way or you can pivot the other way and get out on the other side. Also, when you set it up for a bed, instead of having to find other posts, you just simply remove the post, the table goes down into a lip on top of the bench itself, and then you put your filler cushion in and you've got a bed. This crawl-in cabin has dual reading lights and lots of space for kids or a couple to snuggle up and camp out overnight. This was hole number one for the Venezia. It measured 26 feet 5 inches length overall with a beam width of 9 feet 4 inches weighing about 7,000 pounds. With the swim platform, she measures out at 29 feet and her water length is 21 feet 2 inches. This model carries a total of 75 gallons of fuel and 30 gallons of fresh water. Adding the few inches to the width of the Monticello did offer some space advantages as well as stability and handling. This model is up on plane in 7 seconds and up to 30 miles per hour in 14. I found her top speed to be 43.2 miles per hour at 4900 RPM and cruise to be around 28.8 miles per hour at 3500 RPM. Making that switch in design from an 8 foot 6 inch beam to the 9 foot 4, we found we have about 91 inches of space from side to side inside the cockpit. It may not seem like much of a change from 8 foot 6 inches to 9 feet 4, but I believe if you'll check other models something like this in the competition's line, you're going to find it really does compact the space, and that's real important for you when you're entertaining. You want all the room you can get. 